Hello everyone. Today we are going to continue with science class 3, the human body part 3. And in this video, we are going to understand about skeletal system. This is the human skeletal system. And we are going to understand how our body moves, how many bones are there in our body and so. So let's get started. So students, skeletal system includes all of the bones and joints in the body. We have so many different different types of bones, small, big, long, short. The skeletal system includes all of the bones. So basically, the skeletal system is made up of bones. The human skeleton is the internal framework of the human body. What does it mean? It means it is the basic structure of our human body. Because of this structure, we are able to stand, we are able to do so many work. So we shall discuss this. Now let us discuss some of the functions of the skeleton system. So students, the skeleton gives a fixed shape to the body. It supports the body. Without skeleton, we can't even stand straight. The skeleton protects the soft organs inside our body. It allows movement in our body. It also stores minerals and fats. Let's understand these functions through this picture. See, protects internal organs, then stores and releases fat. It also produces blood cells. It stores and releases minerals. It facilitates movement in your body and it supports the body. Okay. So we have seen that the skeletal system is doing so many important functions. This skeletal system is made up of bones. Do you know children how a bone is made up of? What material this bone is made up of? Let us see about bones. Our skeletal system is made up of bones. Do you know how many bones we have? At birth, we have around 270 bones. But as we grow, some bones fuse and join. Bones used to fuse and join together to make big bones. So adults have 206 bones. Each bone is a complex living organ that is made up of many cells, protein fibers and minerals. Children, we have already discussed that cell is the smallest building block of a body. Right? Cell is the smallest living part of a human body. So here you see the bone is also made up of many cells. Let us see. So see in this picture, bone is having red bone marrow, which is basically a tissue. So this tissue is having stem cells and these stem cells are further consist of red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets. So children, you will understand more about this in your further classes. Now let us discuss what is joints. There are many joints in the skeletal system. A point where two or more bones meet is called a joint. Where bones meet, that point is called joint. These joints help us to move, bend, run and doing so many activities. Here you see in the picture, we have knee joint, elbow joint. Do you know? Why our body moves? Because of these joints. Only this part will move where we have joints. No other part can move. Now let us discuss the important parts of the skeletal system. Skull. Skull is the important part of the skeletal system. It protects 
the brain. Brain is a soft internal organ. It is protected by skull. Clavicle. It is also known as collarbones. Now you see rib cage. This cage like structure made up of bones is called rib cage. It protects our lungs and heart. Humerus. This arm bone is known as humerus. Then these two bones are called ulna and radius. Now let us talk about backbone, the spine. It is made up of 33 small bones. So it, the rod-like structure is also called vertebrae. This is pelvis. This is femur, the longest and the strongest bone in human body. These are tibia and fibula. So these are these important parts of the skeletal system. So children we know the longest bone in human body is femur which is present in the thigh area. Do you know which is shortest bone? So the shortest or the smallest bone present in the human body is steps. So it is present in the middle ear. Okay. Now let us know more about the things. We know the skull protects the brain. The bones around the hip area protect the kidneys. Similarly, rib cage protects the heart and the lungs. Do you know for strong bones, we need calcium and vitamin D. So for that, take milk and fish and also walk in the sunlight. So children, in this today's class, we have understood about skeletal system. Skeletal system of human body. Okay. So in our next class, we shall discuss about muscular system of human body. Did you like the class? Please comment your feedback and also subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.